This is Bethany's favorite book, Bobbing for Berries. Ken looked at the sweet smelling berries with large longing eyes. If only he could reach the high branches of the berry tree where they grew. He jumped as high as he could, but being a very short dinosaur that wasn't very high, up he scrambled onto a rock, but that didn't give him much closer. He was sighing terribly on happy sighs when Sam, a rather tall dinosaur, poked his head nearby. Mmm, berries, make my mouth water, said Sam. They're my favorite, but I can't reach them, complained Ken. Before he could sigh again, Sam stretched out his long neck and broke off a cluster of berries for Ken. When Sam tried to bend down to munch on some mint plants, it was his turn to struggle, but the plants smelled so deliciously minty that he had to try. Twisting his tall neck low enough to pick the plants himself was more than a little tricky. He bent and he crouched, he crouched his knees. He turned and twisted and coiled and curled his neck, but he still couldn't quite reach the mint plants. Ken was busy gobbling up his berries, but out of the corner of his eye, he saw Sam twisting himself into a dinosaur pretzel. Sam, stop that before you hurt yourself, Ken cried and ran to collect mint for his friend. All afternoon, Ken crouched low and picked mint leaves. Sam, of course, reached out his long neck and picked piles of berries, and the two shared a marvelous feast. The End